Hey, pen people, happy new year. I know I'm a little late, but it's still January, so um, yeah, anyway. And I'm a little late to be talking about a planner for 2024. I know, but I'm going to anyway, because last year I talked about this planner, the Loic Term Weekly Planner and Notebook, and it was like one of my most popular videos ever. So apparently you guys don't mind watching stuff about planners. So I'm gonna talk about why I chose the same planner again for 2024. I'm not going to do like a full comprehensive review of this planner. If you want to look at that, you can click on the link from my last video on this planner um, to see a little more information. But today what I want to do is just talk about why I chose this a second time and talk about some of the features that I like about this planner that really made me fall in love with it and decide to keep using it. So let's flip the camera and take a closer look. Okie dokie, here we go. So I've got my 2023 planner here, my 2024 here that I just started a couple weeks ago. They're exactly the same other than the color and the dates inside and the stickers. I mean, I have awesome stickers. <laughs> stickers are kind of a thing for me. Uh, so I'm sorry, no, these planners did not come with these cool stickers. They do come with stickers. I don't have them in front of me because that's not really the focus of this video. I'm talking about the things that I really like and use in this planner. I don't really use those labels. I like them. I think they're a good idea. I just haven't used them yet. <laughs> Maybe someday I will when I have a million planners or a million journals or I don't know. One of these days I'll get around to it, but I just haven't yet. So I set those aside. Okay, let's just dive right in. I really like the paper. I wasn't sold on Loic Term paper at first. Uh, when I first got one of their notebooks, I was like, oh, this just, it's just not Clairefontaine. It's not Rhodia. And it's not, but it's still really good. And I've come to really like it. And I think you get a little more bang for your buck, at least when you're buying a notebook, because you get more pages when you buy a like term. It's really good stuff. It's a little bit translucent. It's thin, but ink holds up pretty well with it most of the time. For most inks, it's it's great. I've had some problems with really wet, gushy, heavily saturated inks or whatever, but most of my inks, all my favorite inks, are totally fine with this paper. So I don't really have any concerns there. But it is a little bit translucent, which does bug some people, I think. So like here with the beginning material, you've got all of this, all these holidays and things that, um, are kind of faint and small and then you can see the text on the opposite page behind here and so it can kind of get weird as far as legibility goes but I don't really pay attention to this stuff so it doesn't bug me I pay, pay attention to this stuff and I actually kind of like that translucence because the page where you write down all of your day-to-day -day stuff is blank but you can see just enough of the lines from the previous page to kind of guide you as you're going along. And I really like that. I think that's really great. I don't know why this book snuck into the frame. It's a good book, but we're not talking about it today. 10 out of 10 recommend though. Anyway, yeah, so that's, that's something that's interesting. And again, inks work really well with this. Let's take a quick look at a writing sample that I did. I wrote this uh, so I can kind of keep track of things that need to carry over to 2025. But here's my little writing sample quote. And I'm trying to get back into the, the habit of doing something kind of inspirational, kind of nice, instead of just, you know, some cross hatches or the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or whatever. All right, so this is from a poet named W.S. Merwin. He died a few years back, I think, but he's a fairly recent poet. Very, very celebrated and widely read. So this little quote says, On the last day of the world, I would want to plant a tree. Sounds kind of contradictory, right? Plant a tree on the last day of the world. What's the point of that? But I like how hopeful it is. I like how even if it's a little nonsensical, that's that's kind of how hope is. Like hope doesn't always make sense when things are grim. And I think that this quote really applies today. There's so much doom and gloom. There's so much war. The world's nuts. And it can be hard sometimes to trust that the metaphorical trees we plant are going to matter, whether that's having kids or trying to do some good in the world or whatever it might be. It can just be hard to feel like now is a good time, now it, that it's going to matter, that it makes sense, but maybe it doesn't have to make sense for it to be good and for it to be worthwhile. And I actually just read a short story that I really liked. Some of the characters in it are convinced that the world is going to end. And at the end of the short story, the main character realizes, 
you know what? The world's not really going to end, at least not right now. It's just going to keep going. And I think that we can trust that idea. At least for now, it's just going to keep going and we can keep doing the good things and we can keep having hope and moving forward. Anywho, let's get back to the features of this notebook. So one thing I really, really love, this is probably the number one thing that keeps me coming back to this notebook is this blank ruled page over here. I just really love that. I think that um, it makes a lot of sense. All of my previous planners usually kind of focus more on this stuff. They put the week, they spread it out between two pages and that's fine, but it just got really crowded with me trying to put to-do list stuff. And you know, sometimes I needed to put something down just for the week in general, not for a specific day. And it's really nice to be able to put this here. If I'm on the phone with insurance, mechanic, whoever. Um, I can take some notes if I need to on what they're telling me. And it's just, it's nice to track information that is relevant to the particular week. And I can also write down my thoughts if I want to. It can be something of a journal. Um, sometimes I'll write down just kind of a, a little one-liner, something my, my one of my kids said, or an idea I have for a poem or something so that I can capture that idea really succinctly. Um, until I can get to an actual notebook to um, flesh it out. And actually, let me show you this really quick. I know this isn't a planner. This isn't the Leuchtturm planner, but I just made this <laughs> and I'm proud of it. I, I hand stitched this. I got some book binding tools for Christmas. This is just cardstock I got from Joann's, but this is Rhodia 90 gram ivory vellum paper and it is like the most luxurious stuff in the world. I love this paper. It looks skinny, but it has like 50 pages or so in there. I don't know if I'm ever gonna buy another notebook. I'll buy another planner, because it has all the dates and stuff, but I love making notebooks. So I don't know, maybe you'll hear me talking more about that in future videos, but um, anyway, just wanted to throw that out. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing more about, I'm not an expert by any means, but if you are interested in DIY notebooks, let me know and I can see what I can throw together as far as some content. Anywho, let's talk about a few more features. I'm sorry, I feel like I keep getting off track, but um, whatever. Okay, this is not unique, but two bookmark ribbons. A lot of notebooks have that, but it's really nice for a planner because you can keep one in the week that you're at, and then you can keep another one in kind of these end pages if you have stuff going on there, or in this front matter if you have important stuff that you need to keep track of there. Another thing that's not unique, but especially helpful in a planner is this pocket in the back. For my writing notebooks, I do use them when I have them, but it's pretty occasional. Um, it's not really a, a consistent need of mine, but for a planner, it's great. I mean, you can put receipts or just various notes, different things that are relevant to what's going on in your life. Going back to these back pages again, I love these pages. Uh, at least some of them are perforated in case that matters to you. But I love this because I can keep track of ideas that I'm having throughout the year, things that I can come back to repeatedly, things, things that I'm working on kind of long-term throughout the year. And then coming back to the front material, I use almost none of it, but I do use this, this project plan. And I don't know exactly how it's supposed to work as a project plan. Like, I don't know like, okay, I have a project to build a business, build a website, build whatever. Um, I don't know how you would use this to help track that project, but I do really, really like it as just a simple goal tracker. Some of this might not make sense to you. Some of it will, um, but it's a way for me to kind of see where I'm slacking off in my goals. And now you can see where I'm slacking off in my goals. Um, and you can see how bad I am at getting to bed at a good time. Anyway, um, I think, that almost covers it. The last thing I want to mention is just durability. So let's come back to this one since this one has seen a whole year of use. It's got some dings, you know, a little bend there, a little nick there, but overall it's held up really well. The spine has not cracked, nothing's peeling off or whatever. Like it's just all really, really good. Bookmarks are not fraying. They look brand new. So I've I've traveled around with this a little bit. I work from home, so I don't go many places, but 
I'm pretty confident in this. This can take a beating, which is really nice for a planner because it's going to go with you a lot of places. Maybe one final thing I'll say is just the colors are awesome. These are just two really good colors. They have a bajillion fun colors to choose from. Let me know if you have any questions. I highly recommend the Leuchterm planners. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.